I forgot to play this for some reason. <laughs> so normally whenever I play a game, I play all the different versions of it, usually starting with the console version, and then if there are any handheld ones, I go to that afterwards. And I didn't do that this time. I don't know why. So uh, here we are. GBA version of this game with a really long opening. Really odd. Let's break into rules. Ta-da! With a mystery villain of some sort in the top right, I guess. So uh, let's see if this is one of those cases where the different versions of the game are nothing like each other. That's probably the case. I don't think credits count as an option, but okay. Let's go. Doesn't look like this has a battery save. <laughs> yeah, it gives a password, but we have save stage, so no need to worry about that. I guess we'll just do normal because that's probably the normal experience. Yeah, we're, we're already pretty... Starting off on a different story. Vicky's asleep. Is she standing like asleep? Is that- I think that's actually just an edited picture of Vicky standing up, rotated, so it looks like she's on her back. You, you gotta love how- this is the thing that just keeps happening in these handheld specifically licensed games. They really just copy pictures of characters on the job. People thought it's dance through dreams. Or they just copy a picture, an official picture of the character, maybe a picture of them from the show, or more often just like stock art. And then they just paste it into the game. At least these guys actually have their own sprites. Why do you need Vicky's dreams for that? You guys don't you know, have they ever even mentioned anything to do with dreams ever in the show? Well, if you wanted to do that, you probably should have gone somewhere other than Timmy's house. Like, you have an entire Earth to play around in. Do you have to be magnetized to your not an anti counterpart? Maybe there's just some kind of rule about that that I never heard. I'm kind of surprised she would do that too. I, I, she doesn't usually make him not be in the house. Oh. No more rules. Let's make Vicky not exist. Cosmo, let's talk about that another day. I heard there is an attractive- I'm not even gonna finish that sentence. Well, I, I think kind of by definition of being stolen, I didn't really let it happen, but... Music? You know what, this, the music was too loud anyways, I'm fine with it not being on anymore. The master effects are very strange looking in this game. Just different colored poofs. Which I guess is what usually what's like in the show, but they don't usually have like, shadows on them? Also, what happened? Like, I figured, expected like a visual change or something? Okay, here we go. Okay. Why is this if we Cosmo coins? Why aren't they like anything else coins? Like Crash Nebula coins. Oh, wait a minute, why? That's actually really weird. I think this is the only time I've ever seen Timmy in a game where he uses some kind of weapon that isn't made of Cosmo and Wanda. Why do they do that? Maybe just because the sprite's too small for them to be able to put Cosmo on those faces on it, but even then you can still make it colored like them. Nightmare begins. No, this is not Invader Zim. Don't think you're Invader Zim. This was back in the day when you were actually expected to read. Um, you cannot go left. When you're expected to read instruction manuals before playing a game. So let's figure out how to play the game right here. Yeah, I know, I'm gonna go to the right. Don't worry. That's the right trigger. Left trigger requires things I don't have, apparently. That's true. Okay. 
I cannot shoot, cannot thrust upwards by by shooting downwards. Interestingly, this feels like a fairly odd parent's interpretation of Contra. I think that's actually what the idea is here. Which is a very, very strange sentence to be able to say. Maybe they just want to share the magic of Contra. <laughs> magic. The experience of Contra with the next generation. Ambush. I don't think it really works that way if they announce that there's an ambush. I don't feel very ambushed. There's only two of them. Down we go. Why not? Okay. So I guess we get our tokens. I'm guessing it was focused that let me do this. You can you think get the ability to turn to Cosmo or something like that? I think it costs ten tokens to do that, it sounds like. I'm understanding right. Well we'll see if that's consistent. Yeah, because that costs ten coins. That's not a a very large cost for being probably invincible, maybe invincible, and getting to fly around and shoot everything. Go ahead. And you're clone too. Interferers are already clones, you can't make clones of interferers, that's not how it works. I'll just enter ever any reason to not come down here into the sewers. And usually like the optional-ish levels are the better ones. Environmental hazards, that's new. Except for when you jumped over stuff earlier, really right. I think. Excuse me? Is that like a shield? For me? Like do they attack that instead of me? That's my best guess. Yeah, it disappeared eventually. Whatever. Huh. Does that cost three something, it looks like? Shooting this thing? Okay, so it just cost three coins. Jeez. I'm guessing we're gonna need a lot more firepower later on in the game in that case. If they're giving us this much to work with. Do I actually get ratings for completing it much as quickly, or is it just that the game? Besides, it says I'm different each time. The game surface is actually kind of nice, admittedly. It's a more, I don't know, active than I expected. Although, I feel like I'm really easily impressed by music. Okay, so that was, that was me taking damage slash losing a life. So this is basically Contra, you only have life. So your crowns is your number of lives, I guess. That was only great, not super. And was that actually like a different rating for how the play did that or something like that? Ah. Let's not get too aggressive that way. At the very least, don't throw yourself at enemies. I decided not to go through that last underground portion just because I figured I would try to do something different. So it's gonna be like level and score based or something like this. For some reason, the, the aesthetic of this reminds me a lot of that one Powerpuff Girls game I played, and that makes me think I'm gonna have to pick up lots of a certain number of things in each level. Oh, I think you could actually shoot stuff at me. He dropped a single coin. Awesome. There you go. Although, of course, that, that cost me coins to do. I'm ge my guess here is that... If I get a hundred coins... That will then... Whoa. Oh, you do get ratings. So that would then turn into another life or something like that, so I have to choose between getting lives and using ammunition. Yeah, it looks like a different special tech here. Oh, but cost more? Okay, so your special tech costs more in different places. 
Does that hurt me if those rocks explode your way? Uh, apparently it might. Where are we exactly? Oh, I guess it's just, just the world being weird and corrupted because of... Because of the anti-fairy stuff. As long as we don't have clowns jumping around everywhere at us like we did in Mysterio's Menace, I'm fine with that. Okay, we're getting a little, a little too risky here. Calm down there. Don't need to be that aggressive. Aggression. Hi, Cosmo. Because that's just a bomb. Alright. So I don't know what that thing does. I probably know if I actually read the instruction manual that I don't have. Okay, so I can still get hurt when I'm using that thing. What's the idea there? Can I need to stop it from getting hit or something? I probably should have looked to see if there's actually instruction manual for this game online somewhere. Although I admit, using a bomb with a really long animation is a lot less fun than actually getting to fly around and hit everything. So far, I don't know how much easier it is to use, I always find myself preferring the normal shot as opposed to Hello! to that. Oh, that does more damage. Uh, you also get incentivized to not use those sorts of attacks if you want to get a good grade. Not that I know why I'd want a good grade. You might find out later that you need a certain grade to, to finish a game or something like that. Let's see. Why is everything frogs? Does it hurt other enemies? It does hurt other enemies when frogs explode near them. Okay, so it probably hurts me too. I have way too hard a time hitting those guys. How about we just panic bomb for a second there? Cosmo kill satting the entire city probably isn't going to have any. Oh. God, I, I and the enemy are both off screen. Come on. Any residual negative effects in the world? Stop that. Something enemies appear. There you go. Got me a little tired of these. The sound effects do mesh well with music too, admittedly. That's actually kind of a tough thing to do sometimes. I think that I don't think much about most of the time. It's the same, in oops, same instrumentation. How about we just do this? I don't yet have a motivation to actually care about what grade I get, so I guess I might as well just spend money on things. Or Cosmo Coins. Why do they spend Cosmo Coins? I guess because they... make... Cosmo up here. Did you use them? Is it just like a... Oh, so if enemies hit it, it stuns them? Interesting. I thought I could stand on those. I thought those were platforms. And the time I jump across. Alright. And that thing again. The weird thing was that it changes the music. Usually if something's accompanied by a change in music, it's temporary. Ambushing yeah, things. At least that was kind of useful. Just really weirds me out that they have different music for that. This game, of course, has the classic Contra problem of not being able to shoot up into the side without running to the side. So shooting things at that angle is really annoying. I got extra life for what I thought was actually about to kill me. Falling off of there. I don't think I really need to do extra damage right now. Never mind. Do those clocks be flayed if I don't keep hitting them? Out of curiosity. Okay, how do we do this? Not what I was trying to do. Ah, and they make the coins disappear too. Sometimes red projectiles explode and sometimes not. I feel like that should be like a consistent rule. If they do or don't. So 
as this level's over, though, we'll probably call it an episode. So definitely a very different premise for this game. At least a fairly different premise for this game, then. Hey. Oh, what? It doesn't explode in contact with enemies. See that? Okay. This moves really awkwardly. Okay. That happens. Uh, there's a right to go to? Oh, I could stand- Game, you need to distinguish your foreground and your background. I could not tell I could stand on that. Also, I'm getting a little bit concerned about I don't like staying alive thing. Of course, later if I get too nervous, I can just start screen clearing everything. Don't know how to get down there. They do, do. They do. Deflate. They do. Interesting. Requires sustained fire. Alright. This feels like it should be about the middle level because we're going up and high everywhere. Hello. What, I, what do I say to that? I say screen clear because I can. Cool. See you next time, next episode. Yeah. You know, I almost died this time. Whatever. Bye, everyone.